As soon as you see him turn a tire. Okay. You go. That's my go. That's All right. your go. All right. Every year, thousands of people migrate to Hammertown in Johnson Valley, California for King of the Hammers. And there's only one way to describe Hammertown that's massive, immense, and jaw dropping. The entire area is set up with RVs, tents, vehicles, vendors, stages, and more. This year, we're here at King of the Hammers with our LJSV Ford Lightning, but we didn't just come out here to show it, we came out here to play as part of Optima Batteries Unplugged. For the first time ever, there are a lot of EVs out here, and the first thing on our agenda is a good old fashioned drag race. And after that, we have a poker run to get into, so let's get started. All right, guys, so we're out here for a good old fashioned drag race. Our Lightning R against Raptor R's and all sorts of other vehicles. So we're gonna see what we can do. Hopefully we win. So yeah, we're out here on Soggy Lake Bed about to go race a bunch of really fast cars. And I'm, I'm a little nervous to be honest. I don't think I, don't think I have a chance after seeing <laughs> these Raptor R's. What about that, uh, that Lightning, the Ford Lightning? Dude, that thing was gnarly. The front wheels were just spinning like everything. I'm like, yep, this old girl. She's got to get me there. <laughs> Maybe they break. Thanks, dude. Did it hook up better on that last one? Uh, are you using the brake at all on the start? I preloaded a little bit on this one, yeah. Is so I don't know if it's killing killing the the throttle of the motors. No, I don't feel it. It is not. Uh -uh. It just seems like there's a lag right off the start. Does it seem like it's going full throttle right off? No, no, no. But I I'm interpreting that as wheel spin. Okay. It's, yeah. It's not too bad the wheel spin. Yeah. Oh, it's not. No. So it's good. There's a delayed response. A it bit, it yeah. seems like there's like a three tenths of a second delay. So I'm getting. So they're they're jumping, not jumping. A little bit. Like you'd be much closer to the Rivian than the R. I know. If, if yeah. you had that start, because yeah. you're fast. Yeah. Man, we got a little negotiation we gotta do here. Oh, so yeah? you're gonna race the Unimog. Okay. okay. All right. All right. And uh, I'd like reverse? to I'd like to get him. A 16th mile head start, All right. and he gets to jump. So yeah. when he leaves, you go. All right, we can do that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Out, easy. All right, guys. So we raced the Lightning a couple times, and now we're gonna do some bracket racing. And the first race we're gonna do is against the Unimog, which is the big Mercedes truck. And I think I heard something about giving him a head start. So we'll see what happens. So I think that Dan will be able to catch up to it and pass it, and maybe we'll move up in the bracket and we'll start going against some of the other cars they got out there. So let's see what happens. Unimog or Lightning? I don't know, those Unimogs are pretty fierce, Brian. They're pretty fierce. Halfway mark, I'm gonna go with the Lightning, even though Dan's driving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Antonio, Unimog or Lightning? Probably the Lightning as well. Even with Dan in the driver's seat? I'll give, I'll give, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, we'll see if Dan can pull through. Unimog or Lightning? I really hope the Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bracket race. Oh, it started. That was a, uh, all the way through spinning, all the way. Yep. <laughs> 
That was a good old fashioned gaptism. Not enough traction, Brian. I don't know why you're telling me. I didn't build it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Why'd you pick those tires? <laughs> I didn't pick the tires. <laughs> Antonio, why'd hey, you sign off on them? <laughs> That's his doing. Yeah, let's, like blame, let's blame Antonio. Yeah. That's yeah. all you, buddy. Tires? I no. want slicks on there. I, I heard you love those tires. I want slicks. Last one, even it out a little bit. Just uh, you know, they they said uh, we're going out to a lake bed to, to drag race, so we brought our our uh, wet tires, and it's a dry lake bed. So. Couldn't quite hook up, but we had a good time doing it. Hey, but you still took third, right? What's that? Is that third? We took third. Yeah, oh yeah, we tucked. Yeah, yeah, we did. We so, took third, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what to be happy about. <laughs> I think it did. How do you think the truck drove though? Truck drove great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just get a lot of tire spin. That's all. Race. Yeah, the whole, the whole race. race. Yeah. <laughs> Halfway down the track. I know, yeah. <laughs> I could hear it. Just going. Oh, you couldn't tell until you were by yourself. Uh -huh. If we had some yeah. KO2s, I think we would be right on par with that. Yeah. After yep. our... yeah, that's what I was sitting out there, and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, we brought it on. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, you placed, though. You podium. We podium. We po yeah. so, I mean, that's, yeah. you know, Pretty fist awesome. bumps all around. Yeah. Bam. Bam. Everybody's Bam. Winning. Bam. <laughs> Everybody's a winner. <laughs> no, they are. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about that real quick. So we've been doing, we've been out here since five in the morning, uh, before the sun came up. Uh, drove the few miles from Johnson Valley over to this uh, this dry lake bed. Uh, got set up when we were here. I think we were about 74 percent. Um, all the drag races and you know the test stuff and everything, and uh, we're down to 64 percent. And also this morning it was 31 degrees. 31 degrees this morning, cold. We had the heater blast in the the whole morning. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed with the, with this and you know, the range is, it's fine. And this is just event number one. This is event number one. We got a whole week of this. So, all right, well, let's yeah. get after it. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this portion of King of the Hammers for us with the Lightning R. And believe it or not, there actually are EV chargers out here in the middle of the desert. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing charged up for tomorrow's event. And we might even drive it around a little bit today. Not quite sure yet. So I hope you guys enjoy that as much as we did because we're out here having a blast so next round is uh we got a big race tomorrow and i don't know how long that's going to be i think this has something around 20 miles but we'll check it out so we'll see you there